Hello Sparkles! Welcome back to my channel, Color Sparkle Shy. My name is Missy and I have an Amazon Michaels. I got a couple books for Michaels too. Haul for you. Um, let's get yourself something warm and yummy to drink and sit down and let's go through these books together. So one of the books that we picked up from Michaels is Bluey Big Backyard. This is not for me. This is actually for my daughter. She's sitting right here and she asked if I would show you her Bluey book. She absolutely loves the show. From what I can tell, the show is like taking over the internet. Everybody is talking about Bluey. <laughs> so we actually found this coloring book from Michaels. The print and pages are pretty big, um, very well. It's just standard coloring paper though. Um, so I wouldn't use like alcohol markers or anything in here. Water soluble markers, you might be able to get away with. The paper's not super thin, but it's not super thick either. It's a little, it's a maybe, it's like Amazon paper if I had to guess. But it's a really cute book. So if your kids or if you love Bluey, like this is an adorable coloring book. There's some cute little scenes from here. Um, she just informed me that all of their friends are in this book too. You have some that are like in um, portrait style. I mean, landscape style. This is portrait. This is landscape. I will get my terms right. So cute, cute, cute. So if you like Bluey, this seems to be a really cute coloring book. There's dad. I hear this all the time coming from her room. So I understand they go like Bluey and the sister and they go dad and mom and they're from Australia and they have cute little accents. So everybody seems to love this show. So we picked this coloring book up for her. Thank you for sharing that with us, Savannah. Boy. And then I got these two from Michaels as well. And then I will share with you the ones that I got from Amazon. So if you have been on my channel since the beginning, which hasn't been very long, I think I've only been on, on the tubes here for maybe a month and like two weeks now. Um, you might know that I absolutely love Lulu Mayo and I am trying to collect almost all of her books. Um, the only one that I probably will not get from her is her Tarot one, but I love all of these ones. And when I saw this one, I had to get it. Um, I'm from the Jersey Shore. I live on Jersey Shore. So I love, you know, sea stuff. And I love hermit crabs. And when I saw, because the hermit crabs just take me back to my childhood. And every time we go to the, the boardwalk here at Seaside Heights, on the Jersey Shore, there's hermit crabs at every store. So hermit crabs just like remind me of my childhood. I am sure, cause this is an older book. Um, there's probably a lot of flip throughs. Yeah, this came out in 2022. So I am sure there's probably a ton of flip flus. Flip flus, guys, flip flus. <laughs> I think I'm gonna lower you because I'm getting that horrible I think that's better for you guys. I'm getting that horrible line through my 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 uh, screen here. But anyways, um, I totally lost my train of thought there. Oh, flip throughs, flip throughs. Okay, um, of this online, so I'm not gonna take the time to like go through every page, but I do have to say, like this is adorable. But there is, and I love this concept, like the fishes, the submarine, like she just does the cutest darn stuff. But there is one page in here that I am like chomping at the bit. It'll probably be the very first one that I color. And it is this one. It is the hermit crab. It is so stinking cute. It's playing a little shell guitar. It, it almost reminds me a little bit of like a Kirby Rosane's too, like a world within worlds kind of thing. It's a hermit crab, but his shell is like a whole other world. <laughs> this is so stinky cute. And like whatever this thing is supposed to be, like the balloon is like a little fishy. I just, oh my God, I just can't get over this page. So this will probably be like the first page that I color in this book. But I really love Lulu Mayo. Um, I'll just do like a little quick couple pages in here. Because like I said, I am sure you guys have seen this. This is kind of like an older book. But oh, they're just so cute. I love the like the little tuna cans. I just love the whole concept of all of this. 
Like, look at this squid. Look at the squid playing a keyboard. It's just so cute. It's so cute. And I love that um, she kept her little character. By the way, if anybody knows, did Lulu, like, name her? I'm assuming it's a her because she's in a dress. But she makes an appearance in every single one of her coloring books. And I was just wondering, I love this little character, if she has a name. I would love to know. So if you know, please let me know down in the comments. I love the little puffer fish and that the puffer fish is the like hot air balloon portion. Like such imagination. I love this page too. Love it with the penguins. I just It's just adorable. And like the little teacups and the seals. Like this book is so stinking cute. I should have bought this sooner. <laughs> I just love her work. And I love her her um, take on a hammerhead shark. His face is so stinky cute. But anyways, I love Lulu Mayo. This book is right up my alley. Super happy I got this one. This is actually a new artist to me. I think, if I remember correctly, I have been seeing a few of these books. I think there's a, it's um, Garden of Fairy Tale Animals. And then like she has one that like the animals are in a city or something like that. I think I've been seeing this on um, Amazon actually. So when I saw it in, um, Michael's and they were having like a little sale, I decided to pick it up. This is a new book to me, um, uh, and a new artist. I don't know if I can pronounce the name correctly because I am horrible when it comes to names, but I think it's Kenoko Egasua, but I could be totally wrong because like I'm really bad with that. But anything with animals kind of like just gets me. And it this book is beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. So she gives you like her whole story about the it's like animals with keys and where it's going. It's kind of set up almost like a storybook. And she has some these are some of the pages that are actually in the coloring book, but they're already like colored. I'm assuming by her. Very beautiful. This one's just cute. I love the tulips. And it's kind of seasonal, so she kind of takes you like through spring, summer, fall, and some of the holidays in here. And they're very, there's some very cute ones and like this, very unusual. So, oh, I think this is it. Kingdom of Curious Creatures. Yes, and they're like in a city. This book also was at Michael's, but I got the animal one because I'm just like I said, a sucker for animal. So here's like your introductory page. I love this, like a book and the stuff's coming out of the book. And here's your key. This is the key that she talks about in the beginning of this book. There might be flip throughs um, on the YouTube of this. I have personally never seen it. So here you get a double spread. Here is the bird with the key. And then here is that book that was kind of enlarged here, sitting here. You got a cat, like very beautifully done. Like this artwork is gorgeous, gorgeous. Here's the tulips. And then she has pages like this, very unique. I have, uh, when I get to it, I will show you the page that really got me that I'm really excited to do. These, these are very detailed and probably would take some time, but I do love the ducks. The ducks are adorable or geese maybe, they look like ducks though. This is so cute. This reminds me of Peter Rabbit or like Br'er Rabbit. I love this, it's like a doily and it's tea time with the rabbits. Very unique. This is a very unique coloring style to me. This is adorable. This page got me. I am so excited to color this page. I love parakeets. So the little parakeets in the little cage with the, with the, uh, with the roses just got me but this is beautiful too this is gorgeous and there's like a little kitty right here very cute I'm gonna try to go a little faster I don't but I have a lot of books to show you this video might be a little long so if we get cozy this is very unique too very unique it's all posted stamps that this would be really fun to color I think very unique so I'll go a little faster like I said, there might be flip throughs. This might, I'm not sure what year this book came out. Like, I don't know how old, like to me, this is new. This is a new, um, new artist to me. This is beautiful. Um, Stargazer lilies are my absolute favorite flowers. Look at this, this is gorgeous with the goats and the big waterfall. A lot of double page spreads. 
Very, very pretty. This is beautiful. Very, very pretty. So now we're getting into like summer. So it's like you got your ocean kind of stuff. This is really cute too. Very unique. Love the kitties and little outfits. Very unique. You got your fish and your jellies. This is one of the pages that was colored. This one is beautiful too with the parakeets and the different birds. And then you got like ice cream mixed in with it. Very unique. Very different. This one's like all feathers. A lot of pages in this book. This is adorable. All the mushrooms and the little hedgy. Very, very cute. Then we got our fruit. I'm going to go a little faster. Here we go. Here is that kitty for fall. So I think this like symbols like we're going into like the fall portion. So she has like, you know, pumpkins and apples, an owl. Here's like circus themed. Very, very different. This is adorable. Here we go with raccoons as drummer, little like drummer boys. You got the deer, the owls, super cute. Then I guess this means we're going into winter. This is so cute, the kitty with all the different crowns. Very adorable. This page is gorgeous. Like you got like the sweater background and then you got like, I guess these are reindeer coming up through it. You got a beautiful Christmas tree. Here is like a little Christmas scene with all the candles and the church. And then like she's got corgis in with it. Just super cute. Very unique. Oop, I think I skipped a page. You got foxes. Tons of stuff to color. I, I think I'm going to like really like her books. The pages are really thick. And like I think this is like Easter because now you got the chicks and Easter eggs. I just wish the artist wouldn't do pages back to back. That's all. Because it kind of limits you on using alcohol markers unless you're willing to sacrifice a page. But very cute. Very different. But I like it because it's a different artist. Lots of work in here. Here's a little Pomeranian. So excited. Very different. This is adorable. Like they're having a big party. All these animals super cute and I like these it's like gray it's so different and that's it so super cute book so those are the three books see it was had a blue dot on it it was on sale so super cute books that I got from Michaels and now I will show you the books that I got from Amazon Rainy, I thought we would unbox this together so you guys could actually get my um, I don't know what you want to call it, my reaction <laughs> um, to the coloring books in here. I just thought it'd be fun to like do an unboxing together. I got quite a few. Oh, you know, you gotta. <laughs> this is the only thing that I got that isn't coloring book, that isn't a coloring book. This is the metallic um, paint. The extra sheen, um, it's like a heavy gloss so that when I do like, um, it's in pearl. So like when I do like wings or eyes or maybe some stars, things like that, I wanted this. And I use my stickles a lot. So we're going to pull out the coloring box. And we're just going to go as I pull. So some of these I'm not going to do like an in-depth um, flip flu or anything like that. Let me see if I can't bring you guys down to a regular. There we go. I do you I do these on my desk so you guys always can see like my little computer off to the side. I apologize for that. But some of these might already have um flip throughs. So, but they're new to me. So, in my last um haul, I talked all about Camelia and Olgaviv, Olgava, I don't know how to say her name that I absolutely love her books. Um, her winter one is the very first one I ever got and I absolutely love it. So, and I love dinosaurs. Um, Jurassic Park is like one of my, is like my thing. So when I saw that she had dinosaurs, I was like, yes, this has to go. This has to go in my list. So I got this one. 
They look super cute. Look at the little big heart. Oh, that's adorable. And again, I'm not going to do like a major flip through. That is so cute. They're watching the volcano and the lava's hearts and they have popcorn. That is adorable. Like I'm not going to do a big flip through because I'm sure that these have been on YouTube before and I don't want to waste your time. But if you would happen to want any of the books that I'm showing today, a full in-depth flip, flip through. I don't know why that's so hard for me to say. Please leave it down in the comments and I will be sure to make that a video. I will actually make that an extra video. I won't even do that on one of my regular days that I upload. I will add that as an extra. But these are so sticky cute. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm going to love this. I'm, aw, I'm going to love this. So cute. So I'm so excited about that one. Then the next one that was in the box is, I'm so excited about Hannah Lynn. Again, she's kind of a new artist to me. Um, I got her Christmas one and absolutely love it. So I thought I would give Mermaids, Fairies, and Other Girls of Whimsy a try. It says 50 fan favorites. So, so oh, so all her other books you usually get two, but this one looks like you're just getting one. Two, two, I mean two of each print. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. That is an 80s girl if I didn't see one. I love that. Oh my gosh. Again, just a quick little peek. But if you would like to see any of these, I'll be more than happy. Is that a dinosaur? I it's either a dragon or a dinosaur. I think it's a dragon. It looks like it has wings. This is so cute. I'd be more than happy to do a full flip through. Oh my gosh. But I have a feeling these have been on the YouTube for a long time. Some of these are a little bit of older books, but this I'm brand new to um, coloring and I, my channel's only been on YouTube for um, a, a little over a month. So all of this is brand new to me, but it might not be brand new to you and I don't want to bore you. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. I can't wait to sit and flip through this. Oh my gosh. I just love it. Love it. Love her books. Then I know this one is new. This is the 50 space themed miniature coloring books again by Camellia and Jolgoviv. Gold Gova and Camellia and Jelkovo, Kova, and Jelkovo, Kova. <laughs> I don't know why it's so hard for me to say that, but I'm super looking forward to coloring this one. I love aliens. Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> this book is gonna be so much fun because seriously, anything will go. And probably the crazier the colors, the better. That's so cute. It's a space. The spaceship's a carrot. Um, the crazier the colors, the better. Like, the more crazy you are, the, it'll fit this perfect. So I love this. And I'm really excited to do some of the backgrounds in here because it's supposed to be, like, outer spacey. And I love doing, like, black backgrounds, you know, with bright colors and you do splatters. And so that that I totally look forward to. This book looks so stinking cute. And I know this is a new release this year. So I know this is a newer book. <laughs> These are going to be so much fun. Oh, it's like a Ferris wheel of spaceships. That's so cute. These are going to be fun. I, I, think that, I think the reason I like this is because it just brings out like the little kid in me. Oh, so cute. So excited. Then I got another one of her books. So this one is... 50 Woodland Miniatures. You guys catching a theme here? <laughs> I'm excited about her books. Oh, oh, look at the turtle. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I don't know which one I want to color first. Oh, like that would be really cute for fall. So cute, the strawberries. Again, I know I'm going a little fast, but I have a feeling most of you have seen these. 
new to me. So cute. Then I got Autumn Harvest by Teresa Goodridge by The Creative Haven. Um, I can't get enough of her books. Um, I, she's be quickly becoming another one of my favorite artists. Um, oh, just love her work. Uh, fall is my autumn fall is my absolute favorite season um, of the entire year so like oh my gosh <gasps> I love that page oh can't wait to color that cute <laughs> that's, a little, that's a little gnome oh so cute picking apples oh that's beautiful Love that one. This just has a totally different vibe than the other fall one that I have. And I just wanted more, more. I just wanted more. I don't know how else to explain it, but I wanted more fall pictures. I don't know how many fall pictures I think I'm going to be able to color in two months, but I am going to do my darndest to color as many as I can. Oh, that's beautiful. So that's why I wanted to pick this book up. Oh, I love that one. <gasps> Hello, Autumn of the Pie. Oh, this, this is beautiful. Oh, I love, oh, look at this gnome. I love this book. Ah, love it, love it, love it. Then I got another one. I thought I ordered two more. Now I'm wondering if I have two more coloring books coming in another box. Because I should have got one. Kawaii, there should be one in here. Kawaii Cuties. And a bird's book. And I don't see them. So I might have two more coming. I have to look. But I'm on my phone. So I have to wait. So anyways, this one also is by Teresa Goodridge. And this one is Country Kitchen Charm. And I specifically got this one because my challenge, one of my channel's challenge this month is um, a color hunt. And you're looking to color something with a kitchen in it. And I didn't really have anything with a kitchen in it other than... A Christmas kitchen and I wanted something else so I got the kitchen one. Oh, this is like a birthday oh look at that it's a uh, look at this I mean come on that is like a fall fall kitchen <gasps> so cute I'm so excited oh an outdoor kitchen So like a little breakfast nook kind of like. Oh, that's cute. Super, super cute. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's like a China hutch. Super cute. I love this stuff. You guys are probably going to hear me say cute 700 million times. This one's adorable. She's baking. <laughs> but first coffee. Here's like a little modern kitchen. Oh, I am definitely going to be able to find something adorable. I love these ones with the windows open. I'm definitely going to be able to find something adorable to color out of here for my kitchen color hunt. For sure, there'll be something in this that I will color. Oh, this one's pretty with the cat. Ah, just love it. Okay, I love it. So we got Country Kitchen, Autumn Harvest. We got Woodland Miniatures, Space Themed Miniatures. We got Prehistoric. I got Mermaid Fairies and Others, Other Girls. Um, then I also picked up this Garden one. And I also picked up Lulu Mayo. So that is my haul. When I get off, I will find out where I think, I hope I did. Do you ever do, do you ever have those moments where you're like, I know I put two more books in the shopping cart? Because I remember specifically looking at the one. I don't know who the artists were. They were new to me, but I love birds and I wanted to um, do this one specific picture. So it was just called Cute Birds and the other book was called Cute Chibi Girls. I think that's how you say it, Chibi, C-H-I-B-I or Chibi, Chibi, I'm not sure. So I have to go find out where those are, but I got me lots of color. I am super excited 
about all of these coloring books. So tell me down in the comments which one is your favorite. Again, one more time, if you'd like a full flip through of any of these, let me know down in the comments and I will do that as an extra video on my channel. And thanks so much for joining me today and looking at all of my fun new coloring books. And I am super excited to try this, this Extreme Sheen Metallic Paint in Pearl. I think it's going to be great for like even like sea creatures and fairies. This is going to be really cool. So I'm excited to use that. So thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed looking at all of these fun little books and keep your eyes peeled, if you will, for new coloring out of all of these. Um, you, I probably won't, let's see, Missy spit out your words correctly. If you don't see me coloring out of any of these on my channel and you wanna see how I'm doing some of these, please follow me on my Instagram. It is linked down below. I post to it daily, sometimes two or three. Um, post a day depending on what I color. I try to do a reel a day. I try to do a challenge. Just follow me on my Instagram and you will see how I'm doing in some of these books. <laughs> and then of course, you come back at the end of the month when I do the month's colored pages and you can see them all at a glance at once. But I am so excited to color in these. So I love you guys. I'll be talking to you soon, Sparkles. And to then take care of you. Thank you for giving up a portion of your day to spend with me. It makes my day. I'll be talking to you in the next one. Bye.